Who was the first high priest of Israel? Aaron, the older brother of Moses, was appointed as the first high priest of Israel according to the biblical narrative in the book of Exodus. Aaron played a central role in the deliverance of the Israelites from slavery in Egypt, serving as Moses' spokesperson and partner in confronting Pharaoh and performing miraculous signs. Upon their liberation from Egypt, Aaron was consecrated as the high priest by God, along with his sons, to minister before the Lord and intercede on behalf of the people. The office of high priest conferred upon Aaron and his descendants significant responsibilities, including the administration of sacrifices, the maintenance of ritual purity, and the mediation of divine blessings and forgiveness. Aaron's investiture as high priest established the Aaronic priesthood as an essential institution within Israelite worship and governance, symbolizing the nation's covenantal relationship with God and the preservation of its religious heritage. What was the name of the garden where Jesus prayed before his arrest? The garden where Jesus prayed before his arrest is known as the Garden of Gethsemane, a secluded olive grove located at the foot of the Mount of Olives, just east of Jerusalem. The name Gethsemane is derived from the Aramaic word meaning oil press, reflecting the presence of olive presses used for extracting oil from the harvested olives. Gethsemane served as a familiar retreat for Jesus and his disciples, providing a tranquil setting for prayer, reflection, and spiritual communion with God. It was in the Garden of Gethsemane that Jesus experienced profound anguish and distress as he contemplated the imminent ordeal of his crucifixion and the weight of humanity's sin. In a moment of intense emotional and spiritual agony, Jesus prayed fervently to his Father, expressing his willingness to submit to the divine will, yet also pleading for the cup of suffering to be removed from him. The scene in Gethsemane captures the profound depth of Jesus' humanity, his obedience to the Father's will, and his resolve to fulfill his redemptive mission even unto death. Who was the Roman Emperor at the time of Jesus' birth? At the time of Jesus' birth, the Roman Emperor was Caesar Augustus, who reigned from 27 BCE to 14 CE. Born Gaius Octavius Thurinus, Caesar Augustus rose to power following the demise of his great-uncle Julius Caesar and the subsequent civil war that engulfed the Roman Republic. He emerged victorious as the sole ruler of the Roman world, ushering in an era of peace and stability known as the Pax Romana, or Roman peace. Caesar Augustus implemented various administrative reforms, expanded the empire's territories, and promoted cultural patronage and religious syncretism. His reign witnessed significant developments in infrastructure, governance, and imperial cult worship, shaping the socio-political landscape of the Mediterranean world. The reign of Caesar Augustus is of particular significance in Christian tradition due to its connection with the events surrounding the birth of Jesus Christ. According to the Gospel of Luke, Caesar Augustus issued a decree ordering a census of the Roman world, prompting Joseph and Mary to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem, where Jesus was born, thus fulfilling messianic prophecies concerning the Messiah's birthplace. Caesar Augustus' reign serves as a historical backdrop to the unfolding of God's redemptive plan in the person of Jesus Christ, the true King and Savior of the world. What does it mean to walk worthy of the calling in Ephesians 4 verse 1? To walk worthy of the calling means to live a life that reflects the character and purpose God has called us to. This involves humility, gentleness, patience, and bearing with one another in love, striving to maintain unity in the Spirit. How can we learn about God's character from the Bible? The Bible reveals God's character through his actions, teachings, and the life of Jesus Christ. We learn that God is loving, just, merciful, and faithful, among other attributes.